This is where it's all going to happen. This small church in Chatsworth is going to host hundreds of firefighters. Imagine them filling up every single seat in this room and more. Their first break from the burning woods in a while. The mountains got a sprinkle of rain this week, but it barely made a difference to the roaring fires that are feeding off the dry land. That means firefighters won't be getting a break anytime soon, not even to visit their families for Thanksgiving. Never heard of an event put together uh, on the fly that's going to be as large as this one. The Beardens are getting ready for their own dinner. Got it right there. But they spent the week helping to organize something much bigger. I don't think we've ever had anything like this. We're the organizing crew. <laughs> Here at the First Baptist Church of Chatsworth, they're going to feed the more than 400 visiting firefighters who are away from their families this holiday. You can feel. Uh, how they feel about us being here. Back at the command center, they're working around the clock to monitor progress in the North Georgia forest. So we have people all along this edge of the fire here. They don't get a lot of time to enjoy a home cooked meal. Yeah, we smoked a whole pig and it's almost gone. So. <laughs> Meanwhile, another church is also helping out with meals for emergency workers who are here from out of town. Well, the guys that just left, they were from Southern California, so and uh, I'm sure there's plenty of others from other places too. Others, that's what it's all about, is just letting them know, you know, we're appreciated. We see a lot of hospitality on the West Coast, but nothing like this. Hi, thank you so much. For these guys to feel like they're helping someone. Here's another sweet potato casserole. And that the people that they're helping are, are thankful. It means a lot. A small gesture of gratitude from the small towns in the Georgia mountains. And right now, volunteers are furiously putting the finishing touches on this project they've been working so hard on. They're going to see what they've been planning become a reality very soon. It all starts at 6 p.m. In Murray County, I'm Dante Renzulli, CBS 46 News.